Okay. Uh, I have to break for I have to break at eight o'clock for mincha tonight. So unless nobody shows up, more than this, in which case I can leave early. Um, does, does this count? Does this speaker count? Does it count as a person? Count as a person? Yeah, it counts as a person. The definition of a goro is, argue, is is one of the big arguments which rages back and forth uh, over the internet a lot, but certainly uh, between people all over the world. The the working definition of Goro according to Beckoffer is as follows. There is I need to get the date out here. I'm sorry. What's the date? Twenty twenty fourth. June twenty fourth? June twenty fourth. If I need that I'll be thrown out of the Does somebody have a tissue? No. Yeah, just um, Thanks. Um the, the most severe area in halacha, in Jewish law, today, uh, thank you, that we have today, is the halacha of aguna. Aguna is permitting a woman to get remarried mm-hmm. even though uh, we have no uh, ages, no, we don't have two witnesses that her husband is dead, and we don't know what happened to her husband. For example, if you have a husband who's... Uh, who was in a submarine which sank and no trace was left of the survivors, of any survivors. If you have a, a husband who was in a plane which crashed and no trace was left of any bodies, etc., etc. So all these cases, there are many different svaras and many different possibilities of allowing a woman to get remarried even though we don't know for sure her husband is dead. We don't know with certainty, it might be likely, but we don't know with certainty. So, to be matzah aguna is the most severe area in halacha. Because if you're matzah in aguna shalokadin, then her kids can be mamzerim. She's going to have it's the, the, the ramifications are the most, the, the most terrible ramifications. The majority well, of people say once we, we pusk in one yeah. that that's what it is, and everything else we do. Because what happens when the husband, if the husband shows up? Okay, well, he's not our husband. We don't consider our husband. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Why can't we divorce or order? We can't divorce her. Why can't we divorce her? Only a husband can divorce. Why can't we make the marriage no and void, though? In other cases, say no. For reasons which we don't understand, Chazal did not see fit to annul such marriages. They could have if they wanted to, but they didn't. If a husband is short within one year... See what I just said? You can argue from today to tomorrow, Chazal didn't allow us to dissolve such marriages. It's a little logical. If a, if a husband is, doesn't have doesn't do his duties that he's supposed to, which is why the wife has grounds to divorce. She has the right to go to the bait and says, I want my get. Okay? But she doesn't get her get from Basin. Well why can't the Basin be the one who gives her a get? Because that's not what it says in the Torah. It says in the Torah that a husband divorces a wife. And yet we could overrule that. Like, we can, but we didn't. That's the problem. The Sanhedrin there no no Chazal ever overruled that. It's a problem, right? But what difference does it make? The majority of people nowadays are, are Bnei Nida or Bamzerim or whatever. That's for Shalom. Yeah. What are you saying now? Bnei Nida is not a psul. What is it then? It's a, super, it's a superstitious thing. Maybe are the guys don't have good midos. Yeah. Are you serious? That's all it is? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm free! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah. um, is there any way you can write a clause into a ketubah that after several years of non-support retroactively a marriage is null and void? No. This, so you can't build a clause into the... Uh, no. Okay. Well, there is no... There's one... In terms of practical law, though, the plane crashes every... like in the middle of the ocean, there's no, and we know one of the guys is on there. Can not can we declare him at that point to do that? No. Because the body is not infected. Yeah. There are, after seven years, there are svaras. After some time has elapsed, if they find wreckage, you know, those sorts of svaras that you can put in. But if he shows up later within these svaras as well, 20 years later he shows up. Hello? All the svaras didn't do any good. Wait, 20 years later she's not capable of having children anyway? I mean, how yeah, but all the children she had in the interim, that's what he's talking about. If we did use svaras, we might hear him, and then right. turn out, you know. Anyway. You think, you think, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You see, according, to you, according to your logic, a person... Uh, in, in early generations, coming as far as time, 
They did not follow laws of, of neither, right? <laughs> well, we're not talking about neither tonight. No, uh, uh, we're not talking about neither another time. We're talking no, about neither another time. No, I'm just saying, they have courage. I know you're just saying. They do have courage. What's that to do with the kid? Kid is, is sort of illeg illegitimate. <laughs> okay. And there's yeah. a prenuptial agreement saying, like, the wife has this uh, bill of divorce that she just. No. As one way, there's one, so one condition, this was the big contention in the 50s between uh, the Orthodox and the Conservatives. That a Conservative wanted to put such a clause into the Ksuva, mm -hmm. and the Orthodox refused to do so, and there was a tremendous rift. And now the Conservatives will annul your marriage at will if you'd like. You know, but they, uh, back then, they still tried to keep some semblance of halacha. Annul a marriage? Yeah. <laughs> kind of like what the Catholics do? Yeah. Can you take a divorce? Yeah. Okay. Catholics can't divorce. Uh, right. 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 <laughs> they believe that they're based, the conservatives believe that they're based in, which sits in the Jewish Theological Seminary, has all the rights and privileges of any Sanhedrin at any time in history. That's very interesting. Wait, that's their that's their head is JTS and just in like up west like uh, in Manhattan. Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. It's just like they need it, right? Isn't it more of a problem? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a big problem now. No, okay, but they need it. Fine. No, back to Aguna. Go you want to talk about they need it? Aguna. It's in the Kamara. It's in the but they said it's in a Brisa that they have bad meadows. But, but, but the parents, the parents, Rabbi. What? But the parents are high curries. What so? What's that to do with Laguna? So, so what? That's all you say, Rabbi? Ariel is not interested in the rest of you. He's interested in his own questions. <laughs> Bear that in mind. <laughs> That's not true. It's true, right? That's the topic. We have to Yeah, I'll be back afterwards. Anyway, the, uh, the so the aguna is the most severe halacha in in Judaism, and the matir agunos you turn only to the greatest post in the generation. The Bekar for definition of a gadol, the short definition, is someone who can be matir agunos. What's that? Someone who you would go to. And he would be relied on as an authority to say that this woman whose husband disappeared can get remarried so on the basis of our logic, uh, logic understandings. So he has several people. people. Confidence. What? That's several people at any time in the world. At any time, right? That's that's several people. That's yes. That's it. No, there are a bunch more. Oh, right. 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 So it has to do with shoulders Dove. and confidence. That's all he has to do. With. No. That's, that's now, because you only, Kleiso only goes to people. If I was Matir Naguna, people go, eh. well, they care if I was Matir Naguna, right? Because I have, in fact, I have shoulders and confidence and I'm full of hot air, right? Means nothing. What, does that mean? what it means is, what it means is that Kleiso knows who to go to because of their knowledge that they can be Matir Nagunas. So, Lamosha, Ramosha fights him. Who finished in the course of his lifetime? Shulchan Aruch here, there with him at Farshim, well over a hundred times, right? Oh, uh, two hundred. Two hundred? Well, over two hundred times, let's say. One hundred, two hundred. By us, the odds are none of us in this room, myself included, are ever going to finish her there with all the, with all the Mefarshim, right? And you're going. To, so, who is a gadol? That's a gadol. Rabbi Moshe Feinstein. Okay. Wait, wait. It has nothing to do with finishing the shots two hundred times. It has nothing to do with all these are simonim. All these are. Signs. It's not the core. The core is the brilliance which emanates from having a masterful and profound understanding of Gan Shas and Poskin. Of all of Shas and Poskin. Unlike, there was, there's a fellow who wrote a, a series of chuvas for him, a, a, series, a series of uh, responsa, and uh, many, many volumes. And the Satma Rebbe said about this person that this person was is was an Amoretz in all of Shas. Me, what does that mean? You have to understand what that means, an Amoretz in all of Shas. It means you open this daf, he's an Amoretz in this daf, right? He can write about this daf, and what he writes is Amoratus. And you open the next daf, and you can write about the next daf, and it's Amoratus. So this guy wrote all these responses, and every single one of them 
was full of Amaratsis. That's what the Samar is saying. That's not a goal. You can have people who theoretically can know all of Shas, but not pro- understand it with the profundity necessary in order to pass in the most profound Shilas in Judaism, and in order that their opinions should count. So now you want to know who's a goal. So you know that who's on that level, Ramosha Feinstein, Shlomo Zalman, Rav Yashi, those, uh, 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 th- those are all people on that level. You want to go further, there are many people who are on the level, even today. I shouldn't say many. There's several. But when I say, when I say that I, uh, n- uh, none of us, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say this about you because I don't want to crush you, but when I say, when, uh, I mean, I'll be quiet. When I say, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> if this was not on video, boy, boy, would I say something. Would I say something? <laughs> no, 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 no. The, uh, the, uh, what are you doing? The possibility. The, po- <laughs> the, po- the, the, po- the po- every, Mr. Shem, everybody in this room, I hope, will finish shots. Ten times. Oh man! We'll finish you shall me five times. Oh man! Okay. Uh, 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 um, I myself am uh, 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 finish us two and a half times, and you shall me one and a half times. So, but that's not a godol. That's not a godol. A godol, somebody who has to- total mastery over all of that material. And is able to cite chat. When I have need to look something up, when I need to find something, I don't have it in my head. I, go, I, I know where to look, how to find it. There's the green book where you look. There's the CD ROM where you look. I know how to find things. But I, I don't know it off the top, tip of my fingers. I mean, look, I'm, I'm very good at think, getting well, people different. to think that I know everything, right? No, I'm not sure, but no, cause, cause, yeah. cause, cause you, I saw you, like, you, uh, cause you, uh, like you, you have the Mishnaya thing for our school. You don't just think anybody do that. Yeah. yeah. What? This confuses me. On, what confuses you? What's so confusing? Me is, why is memory placed on such a high level? I mean, it should, because it should, only it should really be reasoning ability. Oh no! Uh, so you, you're touching a sore point, which happens to be a big issue in the yeshiva world. That's true. Because there's Chachma and there's Bina. Chachma is knowledge, which we equate to a large extent with memory. Bina is understanding. Traditionally in the yeshiva world, we place lots and lots of emphasis on Bina and not so much emphasis on Chachma. But if you want to be a, a, a wise person, which is to possess Das, then it has to be built on both Chachma and Bina. We've spoken about this many times in the past. It says, Noshim Daiton Kalos. Right? Noshim have, uh, have light das. So, uh, P. Remez, the shot is, women ha- have Bina Yaseira. They have a lot of Bina. But in the old days, at least, they lacked Chachma. They were not educated. They didn't know so much. So, they had a lot of Bina, but very little Chachma. So, they were their das. Their wisdom was light, not strong. So you, in order to have strong wisdom, you have to have Chachma and Bina. So what we focus in Yeshiva's on, Bina is not going to make us have great Das. Great Das has to come with Chachma. And Chachma means knowledge. Now, I'm not, there are many forms of knowledge. I'm not saying that you have to remember, memorize where everything is in Shas. And there's conceptual knowledge as opposed to knowledge of the details and nuances. But a, 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 a bona fide guttle has recollection not just of concepts, but also of lots and lots of actual raw data. Okay, what, what separates him from just somebody who has a photographic memory? Because, because it's together, it's inseparable. It's inseparable. The Bina and Chachma by him are inseparable. Right. It's not Chachma by itself, which would, would, would just make, make him an autistic savant. Right. Right. I mean, I but we're not. No, so it's not better. Some is both Chachma and Bina. You said they're in the place. You said, you said they like a personal experience. Right. Like, that's, it's that's it's a, a synthesis. Wow. Why a person who could have a text, read it, analyze it, read the literature upon it, become an expert in this in this text, write his notes, wherever it is, record the data, put it aside, read another book, analyze it, 
break it down, read the confession, put it aside, review it. He's not gonna have, oh wait, the, yeah, this is the word for word, but, but he knows the idea. You're right? saying very good. Even something is not good. Ooh. Let's say something's not a good old. Let's say I'm not, I'm not Rabbi Moshe Feinstein. But yes, it's theoretically possible for me to research a sugya backwards and forwards and argue with Rabbi Moshe. It is possible. Right. That's not, that doesn't put me, even though I'm not saying Kabbalah's Rabbi Moshe because they don't have the broad uh, mastery, I can learn a sugya and disagree with them. That's true. Another one, we, when, oh, when the Rabbi Moshe, that a person cannot I'm become sure. a godly adorer. Uh, is it because a person has a will or it's not the mental capability of doing it? It's a little bit of both. Because, uh, just to give an example, there are a lot of people in the world who, let's say, they follow baseball, basketball, they will tell you the statistics of any single player on any single basketball team, what's his run average, what's his percentage, what's right. what they Because average. they have a case check for that. They yeah. have a, so it has something to do with, with the want of it. If right. something is interesting to me, then I'll, I'll, you know, it has nothing to do with my ability. Because yeah. if I will memorize, 300 players in the basketball team, name, last name and, and first name, and all of the, the contract numbers, and you know, points per game, and versus rebounds and turnovers, and, and you know, when this, how much millions of dollars the game paid each one of them, I have never. I'm just not using it. And it's That's over. correct. That's why I said it's a little bit of both. That was, yes, we lack the same will which people once had, and we also lack this, and we also lack the capacity. And I, 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 don't, like, I don't want to say mental capacity. Uh, that's called emotional capacity. Because in order to have profound understanding, you have to have profound emotions. And we don't have profound emotions anymore. You know, we usually talk about in this year about the moron factor when it comes to thinking. It's not really thinking which is our problem. It's emoting which is our problem. Our, our being morons is rooted in our e emotional handicap. A lot? Can you qualify that? Explain it. Yeah. We don't feel profoundly about, we don't feel profoundly about very much anymore. For example, I really have to go down, I'll be right back, but how many people in this room have written, have written poetry? Written down? Yeah. <laughs> My dad wants in the past. Right? Okay. What? Sorry, outside English class? Outside English class. Outside English class. The uh, schmo. Oh, sat, down, sat down and written a poem. Okay. Two people, right? How many people in, in this, uh, in this room, when they listen to classical music, not rock music, there's a classical music feel they are transported into a different realm of existence. I wouldn't put it so extremely. But, but that's the point I'm trying to make. These are examples, okay? How many people in this room, and this, this, this is something which I can't, you can't really even get away with in the Western world, so I'll show you, I, I want to show you this. Uh, how many people here can feel an intense love for a friend, as opposed to a relative, or a girl. That's impressive. Uh, mostly because you're Bali Chula. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that's pretty right? cool. That what? That well, anything, anything which you have which is better than the rest of Clyde, so we have to assume is because you are Bali Chula. Right? <laughs> okay. What do you mean classical versus rock music anyway? What? What's the difference, classical versus rock music? Because the emotions of rock music are animalistic and they're much easier to reach. Oh, wow. That's yeah. Good. It's much easier to be animalistic than to be transcendent. So, so what you're saying is that, is that if you look at like, a lot of the, like, the yeah. poems mm -hmm. and like, the, the like, our liturgy, like, the, of the, of the, like all the different, uh, like not the sleek, but all this type of pipe, huge they're all like huge draws, aren't they? What? They're all by huge draws, all right. these amazing, like, huge them, right? Yeah. Like, all these huge reshorting, like, you know, yes. all these, like, big... Yeah, lady. And there's like, yeah, you're lady, whatever. I'll be back in five minutes. Thank <laughs> you.